Dear friends, how are you? Shabbat Shalom. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to share with you two magical words that encapsulate and summarize our mission, our task, our purpose in this world and ought to be the guiding force of our lives. And these two words actually set Jewish history in motion. What are these two words, Rabbi Fischl? So I'll share with you. In this week's Torah reading, we meet our grandparents, our Bubby and Zaidi, the first Jewish couple, Abram and Sarah, Avram and Sarah. The history of the Jewish people commences. At the beginning of Avram's career, God gives him the great charge, two words in Hebrew. The Hayei Bracha, you should become a blessing. You should be a source of blessings. Become a blessing to others. Words that imply a higher level of blessing than simply, you shall be blessed. With this charge, God was promising to Abraham and Sarah that not only will you be blessed, but I'm also challenging you to take the richness of your lives, learn from your own story and your own experiences, and use it to become a blessing for others. Use it to enhance other people's lives. Use it to make sure that other people find happiness as well. Take the blessings that you have, the blessings that I have given to you, and make sure to use them and pursue to become a blessing in other people's lives. Rather than simply being blessed and pursue the blessings in your lives for your own needs and your own desires, make sure to take the blessings that you have and to pay it forward. We all have something in our lives that can be a blessing to someone else. To receive is easier than giving, right? To be served rather than serving doesn't require effort to be served. To serve others is far more difficult. But to be the progeny of Avraham, God says, you need to reflect on your life, identify your talents and skills, contemplate on the lessons that you've learned from your own experience, and then pay it forward as often as possible. Don't just be a consumer of the blessings, but also be a producer of the blessings. And because Avram strove always to be a blessing to others, his life was blessed. When we lift others, we lift ourselves. In leaving our own limitations, which this is this week's Torah portion, Lech Lecha, leave your natural habitat and reach out to others, we grow into something bigger. We provide ourselves the nourishing sustenance that our soul needs, that our soul demands. And so the question this week, this Shabbat, that's put to each and every one of us is, how big is your soul? Does it only have room to fit in me and my? Or is it big enough to accommodate the needs and feelings of others, lots of other people? And so being that it's this week's Torah portion where God told Abraham, by Yebracha, you should be a blessing to others and you should be a producer of blessings, I'd like to give you, each and every one of you, my dear Chabad Naples family, our Facebook family here, I'd like to give you all a special blessing. I'll first begin in Yiddish, then I'll translate in Yiddish. Ihr sollt allemal kennen geben und kemal nicht darfen betten. May God grant you that you should always be in a position to give, never to ask. Bezrat Hashem, Amen. We should always realize this incredible truth. And when we realize this, Vayyebracha, be a blessing to others, we'll never feel that giving is a burden or a chore or it's our duty, you know, dogmatic, an imposition, but rather we will realize it's a privilege. And so, as we face this week ahead, let us devote our better selves to identify our blessings and find ways Pay it forward as much as possible to be a blessing to others. You have a shmeichel, you have a smile on your face. 
Share that smile with others. You know an Aleph, all that you know is an Aleph, share it with someone else. This week's Torah portion, the message to sum it up is, it's much more better to give than to receive. We love you all. Shabbat Shalom from your Chabad Naples family. On behalf of Eti, Rebetz and Eti, and my entire family, Mendel, Yitzi, Chai, and Hinda, and the Chabad Naples family, Shabbat Shalom. We love you.